All right, Dr. K, thank you. Well, when the Rose Parade rolls through the streets of Pasadena, California on New Year's Day, a Hoosier hero will be featured on the Donate Life float. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta has more. Kylie. Thank you very much, Gary. The Donate Life float celebrates the people who have given the gift of life. For one Hoosier family, the parade will hold special meeting. Tristan Hackman's portrait will be part of the float. She died of a drug overdose at 28 years old and through organ donation saved four lives. Indiana Donor Network says her story speaks to the importance of donor registration, which recently achieved a major milestone in Indiana. Here to tell us more is Tammy Hackman, Tristan's mother, and also Indiana Donor Network CEO Kelly Hanner. Thank you both for coming to the show today. Thank you for having me. Tammy, I want to start with you. It's, it must be so bittersweet uh, to be going to this parade to see your daughter on the float. Tell us a little bit about Tristan and um, how her donation really changed other people's lives. Um, Tristan was, uh, she liked to give people second chances. Um, so she was always wanting, you know, to do something to help people out. And when we lost Tristan, uh, we knew that at that point it was a good time for her to be able to share that even more by being a donor. Um, we weren't sure if she was registered to be one. So um, just to make all of the things that were bad to into something good, we decided to um, let her be a donor. And uh, she saved four lives. And we've been honored to meet uh, her double lung recipient. And uh, her, we've heard from her heart recipient. And we're uh, excited. And we've been able to share her story with other people and encouraging them to be donors and to um, share the part, the donor life um, with, with the rest of us at Indiana Donor Network. And we're glad you share her story with us today. And Kelly, the Indiana Donor Network recently hit a major milestone, 4 million Hoosiers now registered to donate. Uh, what's the significance of reaching that 4 million mark? Well, it's been a work in progress for years. So we're really excited that uh, Four million Hoosiers have registered their decision to be a donor. Um, we're in the top seven of all the different states um, as far as donor registry share for people over at the age of 18. And uh, so about 76% of licensed drivers have designated themselves to be a donor. So uh, we're really excited about that That's milestone. Good Indiana success story. And Tammy, one of the unique things I think most people know about the Rose Parade is that all of the floats are made out of flowers and other mm -hmm. natural things. And your family actually got to put the finishing touches on on Tristan's florograph. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, it was wonderful when we received it. We opened it up and the first thing you could do was smell how wonderful and fresh it smelled. Uh, a lot of cinnamon um, and the background was uh, to be finished and her eyebrows which uh, once we put those in we're able to put the eyebrows in and do the background it brought her to life. Mm -hmm. uh, and we got to share that with probably around 75 of our closest family and friends and um, it was a wonderful experience for us to be able to actually do it by hand um, and finish it up. And uh, Kelly, four million, obviously a big mark, but I'm sure you have more goals. So where do you go from four million? What's, what's the next goal for Indiana Donor Network? Well, you know, we'd love for 100% of Hoosiers to be registered as donors. So we've got that 24% that we're still trying to reach. Um, we don't want anybody to ever rule themselves out as a donor. So make that decision. Um, you can go to the BMV. You can go to our website. Um, it's very different than years ago when you had to go into the BMV. But you can go to indianadonornetwork.org and register your decision in a matter of minutes. So um, we're trying to reach that other 24% so we can save more lives. Do you think technology really played a big role in helping hit that number? I mean. Like you said years ago, you had to make a special trip, and now it's so easy. Right, it is. And we um, have partnerships with many different organizations throughout the state. And uh, we have iPads that we can just register somebody in the matter, matter of minutes. So technology has definitely played a big part in it. It makes it a lot easier. And just organ donation in general, Tammy, um, and for your daughter, does it help for your family to does it in some way carry her legacy forward, kind of honor her life? Oh, yeah, it does. It. Uh, She's a never-ending story, as we call her now, because she's she's filling out lives and bringing other lives in, people to life, mm -hmm. and giving life back, and that's what it's all about, is well, giving life back. And I know you get to go to Pasadena and see the float, so have a wonderful trip, Thank and uh, I hope you really enjoy seeing her picture there in the center stage. Thank you. All right, Gary, back to you.